Hello and welcome back to the shop. Of course we're doing some branding irons this week and we'll be jumping back and forth between a bunch of different projects here. This is just a lathe project and it has some internal boring and it has an internal groove as well which I have not done before. But unfortunately I didn't capture any footage of the internal grooving uh, mainly because I was very scared while I was doing it that I would screw something up or crash something so I don't have anything there. But here I am boring it out and then I would groove soon after that. Here is some really simple spacers made out of 5 8 aluminum rod and I just drilled a hole through them and then parted them off and I did 8 of them and I did them all in one setup and I'll show that here in Fusion in a second but to get this little burr off there I just used some 10 snips and then cut a bunch of slits and then just peeled it right off and then did a quick deburr with the hand deburring tool. And here we are in Fusion where I face this off and 5 8 is the actual outside diameter of the spacer itself so all I had to do was face it off spot drill then drill all the way through and then I came in with my parting tool and just parted a bunch off And I don't believe it's any secret that I was trying to do some puzzle making before. I'm sure you guys have seen some type of metal mechanical puzzles before. And the first one I made uh, didn't pass the smell test for me. So I decided to go with a different design that I already had. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Just making that prototype design. Eventually it would be made out of brass and not aluminum. Which I already actually have but you guys didn't see it here. And brass is much more expensive than aluminum, so I went with aluminum first before I went into the brass. And here is what it would look like when it's done. Of course I didn't show the top piece being made because I don't want to give the secret away. So I decided to leave that part out. Here was a fun little job here. I had 40 of these quarter inch steel plates that were pre-cut. I am not sure why they didn't get them laser cut, but they needed this slot put in them. So I did two at a time and put this slot in there. I would have done three, maybe four at a time, but I put them in the vise long ways and I was afraid that I would get a lot of bowing going on and that's why I put the vise grip on there as well too. Not to mention that the ends here are saw cut and each one is just slightly different so putting four in there would be pushing it. So if just the two plates in there had slight variation I was able to take up that variation with this cardboard piece here and yes I changed that out every once in a while because it would get soaked with the coolant but I learned that trick from Joe Pizinski on YouTube Check him out if you get a chance because he has a lot of cool CNC and just normal machining tips and tricks and I learned a lot from him. Quick side note here, the shop has been getting a little warm and it's not necessarily hot temperature wise but the humidity is killing it. So I got a dehumidifier and I can't easily put an air conditioner in the shop so I'm hoping that a dehumidifier can take out the moisture in the air. 
here is another fun project as well so I am getting married in August and I wanted to make a ring for myself because I don't want to buy one and I have the means to make one myself so I got some one inch round titanium and I just went after it and designed my ring and we should be good to go but the cool thing was I was able to drill titanium whereas I didn't think it would be very easy so here I am just drilling away uh, of course I'm going pretty slow but I didn't burn up the drill or anything and I was extremely surprised at how it turned out I thought it was gonna be a disaster to begin with but the Miano did what it's told and took it like a champ I was so surprised I'm still amazed at how well it turned out so I think that's it for now so thanks for watching